Years since an arsonist torched Catholic Charities of East Tennessee. Fire nearly destroyed one of the buildings. Fast forward to today, that charity, even though having to help itself, is helping even more people. Here's our John Pierce House. Construction has been underway at Catholic Charities of East Tennessee for a couple of months. An arsonist targeted this building on Damarin Avenue in November of last year. We lost everything. One year later, the charity's executive director, Lisa Healy, is going over remodeling designs. She leads us into the room that used to be offices. Half the roof is gone and the floor is covered with sawdust and rocks. This is where the fire, that corner, is where the blaze really took off. The charity has plans to move back into this building, and there's still a lot of work that has to be done. As you can see around me, the building's been gutted. It's a $1.3 million project, money that's coming from grants and donors. In the meantime, the charity has been operating out of a temporary location on Gay Street and has been able to help more than 3,000 people since the fire. Our purpose in East Tennessee is to um, provide help and hope to those that need us. Healy says they've added more programs in the past year, too. We've just done the best we can do under the situation. One year later, Knoxville fire officials say they still don't know who started the fire, but Catholic Charities of East Tennessee is still going strong. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. What about a grand reopening? Healy says the building should be ready to go in May, maybe June this coming year.